The Space Launch System, NASA's most powerful rocket ever built, their $11 billion moonbound behemoth, the cornerstone of America's return to lunar exploration, is now facing an existential crisis. According to explosive revelations from senior space reporter Eric Berger, there's a shocking 50-50 chance that NASA might completely abandon the SLS program. Not just future variants, we're talking about scrapping the entire project. The same rocket that triumphantly launched Artemis the Mersin in 2022 could become a footnote in space history. But this isn't just about one rocket's fate. This is about America's position in the new space race. As China accelerates its lunar ambitions and SpaceX's Starship emerges as a game-changing alternative, NASA stands at a critical crossroads. The decision they're about to make could reshape the entire future of human space exploration. The signs of trouble are mounting. Colonel Douglas Pentecost of the U.S. Space Force recently admitted they see no military need for SLS. Media mogul Michael Bloomberg labeled it a colossal waste of taxpayer money. Even more concerning, the rocket in its current form lacks the capability to independently transport humans to the moon, the very mission it was designed for. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Starship is rapidly advancing, promising full reusability at a fraction of the cost. Could this be the moment when NASA finally admits it's time for a change? Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The halls of NASA have grown eerily quiet these days. Within these corridors where dreams of lunar exploration once echoed with certainty, a shadow of doubt now looms. The Space Launch System, America's most powerful rocket, stands as a testament to both human ambition and the harsh realities of modern space exploration. During a recent closed-door meeting at NASA headquarters, the tension was palpable. As officials reviewed the latest financial reports, the numbers told a devastating story. Each SLS launch devours over $4.1 billion of taxpayer money. We're not just burning rocket fuel, we're burning America's space future, one senior official confessed, his voice heavy with the weight of decades of space program history. But it's not just about money. The Orion spacecraft's return from Artemis revealed a chilling truth that keeps NASA engineers awake at night. Over 100 spots of damage marked its heat shield, the very system meant to protect future astronauts from the inferno of atmospheric re-entry. Every scorch mark tells a story of thermal protection performing differently than predicted, a reminder that space exploration tolerates no margin for error. At Kennedy Space Center, the 380-foot-tall mobile launcher stands as a wounded giant. What should have been a triumph of engineering now requires nearly $2 billion in repairs, more than it costs to build. The damage runs deep, from failed elevator systems to stress structural supports. Each passing day of repairs pushes NASA further from its lunar dreams and closer to an uncomfortable reality. The SLS program might be too broken to fix. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, China's space program advances with ruthless efficiency. Their Long March 9 rocket development proceeds without the burden of public scrutiny or budget constraints that plague NASA. More alarming still, they're doing it for a third of the cost. The space race has evolved, and America's traditional approach is showing its age. But the real revolution isn't happening in China. It's unfolding in the swamps of Texas. SpaceX's Starship program has shattered every conventional wisdom about rocket development. Where SLS took years and billions to achieve a single launch, SpaceX's rapid prototyping approach turns failures into stepping stones toward success. The sight of Starship being caught by its launch tower, something once dismissed as science fiction, now happens with almost routine precision. The contrast couldn't be starker. While NASA engineers struggle with the complexity of refurbishing SLS components, SpaceX teams are pushing the boundaries of reusability. A projected launch cost of $10 million for Starship versus $4.1 billion for SLS isn't just a difference in numbers. It's a fundamentally different vision of humanity's future in space. This reality hasn't escaped the notice of NASA's own astronaut corps. Behind closed doors, these modern-day pioneers voice growing concerns about crew safety. The Orion heat shield damage has sparked intense debate about risking human lives on systems that might be outdated before they even fly. As one veteran astronaut confided, we need reliability over legacy. Our lives depend on it. 
The political battlegrounds in Washington have become just as heated as the rocket engines themselves. Representatives from states with major NASA contractors fight desperately to preserve the status quo, while a growing chorus of voices demands change. The future of American space exploration hangs in the balance, caught between tradition and innovation. NASA's engineers now face an impossible choice with the Orion heat shield. They can delay the program for a redesign, risking its cancellation, or proceed with increased risk to human life a decision no one wants to make. The September 2025 launch date for Artemis, two looms like a storm on the horizon, with critical decisions pending and no easy answers in sight. As if the technical challenges weren't enough, China's ambitious lunar base plans have added urgency to America's space program decisions. Their vision of a permanent lunar presence by 2028 isn't just a goal, it's a challenge to American leadership in space. Every delay in the SLS program is time China can use to catch up and potentially pull ahead. The impact of these decisions reaches far beyond NASA. Major aerospace contractors have begun quietly preparing for a future that might not include SLS. The industry that once built Saturn V rockets now grapples with the possibility that the future belongs to nimble commercial spaceflight companies rather than traditional government contractors. SpaceX's achievements have fundamentally altered the landscape of space exploration. Their rapid development cycle, embracing failure as a learning tool, stands in stark contrast to the cautious, methodical approach that defined the space age. The sight of rockets landing themselves and being caught by mechanical arms isn't just impressive, it's a glimpse of a future that's arriving faster than anyone expected. As NASA approaches this pivotal moment, the stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't just about choosing between different rockets or launch systems. It's about deciding the future of American space exploration. Will we cling to familiar but costly approaches or embrace the uncomfortable reality that the path to the stars might require abandoning our most ambitious rocket program? The eyes of history are watching. In these halls where humanity's greatest space achievements were once planned, a new chapter is about to be written. The only question is whether it will be a story of bold adaptation or costly allegiance to the past. The clock is ticking, the pressure mounting. Soon, NASA must make a decision that will reshape the future of human space exploration. The SLS crisis isn't just a technical or financial challenge. It's a moment of truth for America's space program, testing whether we can adapt to a rapidly changing landscape while maintaining our leadership in the final frontier. As we stand at this pivotal moment in space exploration, the story of SLS serves as a powerful reminder that progress often requires difficult choices. While NASA's mighty rocket once represented our boldest dreams of returning to the moon, the emergence of SpaceX's Starship shows us that innovation can come from unexpected directions. The future of American space leadership may no longer depend on massive government rockets, but on our ability to embrace new approaches and technologies. As China races to establish its lunar presence and SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible, NASA's decision about SLS will shape not just the next decade of space exploration, but humanity's journey to the stars. Perhaps the greatest lesson from this turning point is that the spirit of exploration isn't bound to any single rocket or program. It lives in our collective determination to reach beyond Earth. Whether through SLS, Starship, or systems yet undreamed of, America's path to the stars remains open, driven by the same pioneering spirit that first took us to the moon. This is the kind of groundbreaking space coverage you'll find here on Elon Musk 24 Hours. If you want to stay ahead of the latest developments in space exploration and join our community of space enthusiasts, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the future of SLS and Starship, I read every comment and love hearing your perspectives. If you found this analysis valuable, give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow space enthusiasts who need to hear this story. Until next time, keep watching the stars and I'll see you in the next video. The $4.1 billion per launch space launch system, NASA's most powerful rocket ever built, 
might be facing an unexpected fate. In a stunning turn of events, even the U.S. Space Force has joined the growing chorus of voices questioning its future. Colonel Douglas Pentecost's recent statement sent shockwaves through the aerospace community. The Department of Defense sees no need for this massive rocket's capabilities. Meanwhile, as doubts about SLS intensify, SpaceX's Starship is rapidly emerging as a game-changing alternative for the Artemis program. With its revolutionary reusability and ambitious design promising dramatic cost reductions, it could completely transform how we return to the moon. This isn't just speculation anymore. Major publications, government officials, and industry experts, including Bloomberg and former GAO Assistant Director Christina Chaplin, are all pointing to a potential shift in America's lunar ambitions. The question isn't just whether SLS will survive, but whether we're witnessing a historic pivot point in humanity's return to the moon. Hello everyone, welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Let's dive right in. The story of SLS's potential downfall begins with staggering numbers that shocked even veteran aerospace analysts. Let's break down what's really happening behind the scenes at NASA. Artemis 1, their first major test flight, wasn't just delayed. It consumed nearly a decade and tens of billions of dollars. That's longer than it took America to go from President Kennedy's moon speech to actually landing on the moon. But here's where things get truly concerning. Each future SLS launch comes with a $4.1 billion price tag. For perspective, that's equivalent to funding an entire Mars rover mission, just for one launch. But the financial hemorrhage doesn't stop there. The ML-2 mobile launcher, essentially a very expensive launch pad on wheels, has become a symbol of the program's runaway costs. Originally quoted at $250 million, it has ballooned to an astounding $2.7 billion. NASA contractors have logged over 850,000 overtime hours in just two years trying to complete it. That's nearly 100 years worth of regular working hours spent on overtime alone. The problems run deeper than just money. During Artemis 1's return, engineers discovered concerning damage to Orion's heat shield, a critical component that must work perfectly to protect future astronauts. This unexpected issue has sent NASA scrambling for solutions as the clock ticks toward Artemis 2's launch window but perhaps the most damning criticism comes from within the government itself. Colonel Douglas Pentecost's recent Space Force assessment wasn't just a casual observation. It was a clear signal that even military space experts see no practical use for this massive rocket. This is particularly significant because the Space Force, as America's newest military branch, is actively planning for the future of space operations. Meanwhile, SpaceX isn't just developing an alternative, they're revolutionizing the entire approach to lunar missions. Their Starship system, unlike SLS, is fully reusable. Think of it like the difference between throwing away an entire 747 after one flight versus being able to refuel and reuse it thousands of times. This fundamental difference explains why SpaceX can potentially offer lunar missions at a fraction of SLS's cost. The Starship's capabilities are equally impressive. Its innovative design includes in-orbit refueling, eliminating the need for NASA's proposed Lunar Gateway, another multi-billion dollar project that critics argue may be unnecessary. SpaceX's rapid development pace has already yielded remarkable results. Their Mechazilla catch system has progressed from concept to reality, demonstrating their ability to recover and reuse massive rocket boosters. Industry experts are taking notice. Christina Chaplin, who spent years scrutinizing space programs at the Government Accountability Office, points out a crucial difference. While SLS remains stuck in a traditional expensive production model, SpaceX has created what amounts to a rocket factory, consistently improving efficiency and reducing costs. Michael Bloomberg's analysis cuts even deeper. He argues that SLS, even at its astronomical cost, can't complete a lunar mission alone. The current configuration requires additional systems, including SpaceX's Starship as a lunar lander, to actually reach the moon's surface. This raises an obvious question. If we need Starship anyway, why not use it for the entire mission? This brings us to the most compelling alternative, a completely redesigned Artemis program centered around Starship. The concept is elegantly simple. 
Instead of using two different rocket systems requiring complex orbital choreography, a single starship could launch from Earth, land on the moon, and return safely. SpaceX is already demonstrating rapid progress toward this goal with successful high-altitude tests and landing maneuvers. The time